Hi guys, so um don't know why, but I really wanted to record this experience. Um I am doing a healing exercise that I've been avoiding for like the last week. And like step one, like step one was to find a picture of your childhood self and I was already choked up. Yeah, I'm gonna let you guys in on it. Like I'm looking at this picture and Like, no, I'm not about to cry already. This is ghetto. <laughs> Healing is ghetto, y'all. It's so worth it, but it's so ghetto. But here's the journey. The exercise is to write a letter um, to this little girl that I am staring at on the screen. And I guarantee you that I'm probably going to burst out into tears. <laughs> the first sentence. I'm kidding. I'm going to try to be strong. Um, but, oh, no, I'm not going to try to be strong. I'm just, I'm going to let... The process or the exercise to do what it needs to do. Um, uh, the goal is to affirm her um, in the ways that I felt I needed to be affirmed as a child. To affirm her with um, with statements and things that I needed to hear, things that I needed to know, and I will be the parent for her or the um, the role model for her that I need it. I'm sorry for the confusing language. But um yeah, so let's just take a stab at it guys. So here she is. Here is child Jasmine. I hated this picture y'all, but that's me with my little big old head that was like almost bigger than my body and my big teeth and my gap that I still have. That's me. Brown skin, ashy hands. Let's do it. Y'all, so I had to stop recording. This is ghetto. <laughs> oh, this is so ghetto. Like, ridiculously ghetto. <laughs> so, guys, I still have my worship music um, playing in the background really loud. So, um, I had to do a voiceover. But I was explaining, of course, just how ghetto this whole thing was. But I really wanted to hone in on the fact that this is not my first stab at um, like healing um, or a healing journey or a healing exercise. And I, because of that, I was able to do this exercise. And so I am just letting you guys know that if you don't know how to work the tools of self-soothing and if you don't know how to um, ground yourself, this would be an exercise that could potentially put you in a really, really bad space. Um, but because I had those tools in my toolbox, I um, felt comfortable enough to go ahead and do this exercise. Of course, because I'm even taking a step further and sharing it with you guys. Um, so it was very, very challenging, but not nearly as challenging as it could have been if I did not know how to soothe myself and breathe. And I know you'll see me rocking. <laughs> Um, just all of those things to kind of calm myself down and ground myself to know that I am actually really okay. Um, so, yeah, that's all that. And then, honestly, I don't know what else I was um, jabbered about, but I am going to finish here.
Thank you for sharing in a very intimate moment with me. I feel good um, about sharing my healing journey because those who know me and who have followed me, I have shared a great deal of what my life has been carrying a whole bunch of heaviness and a whole bunch of pain and hurt and distress, like all of that. And so I'm excited to be able to share what the journey looks like for me to be on the other side of that. It's just, it's beautiful over here, y'all. It's just, it's amazing. I, I would not trade it for anything. Um, I do want to uh, mention again, this exercise, if you decide to do it, if you have had a very traumatic um, childhood like me, um, you are going to want to make sure that you have the tools necessary to um, self-soothe. And if you don't, you will probably want to have a loved one or a dear friend near you while you are completing this exercise. And then if not, I would definitely say do therapy first hands down, um, is something that I had to do. I would not be able to jump into these exercises just like that if I had not had an earlier healing journey with an actual licensed professional. And that leads me to say, I am not a licensed professional. Um, I do want you guys to do this exercise. Um, I do want to answer any questions that you may have about this exercise, but I am not um, qualified to give any mental health or professional advice. So any questions that you do ask, I will answer them to the scope of my knowledge and from my experiences. Please let me know how the exercise goes for you. And um, I look forward to hearing from you. And I hope that you guys look forward to hearing more about um yeah, this journey, it's its amazing and it's great. And I would not trade it for anything in the world. Hope you guys have a great night, great afternoon, or a great morning, whichever this video finds you in.